So today we're going to be tearing down uh, Axial Generation 4.0 and what Brent's going to start off doing here is he's going to measure the shoulder to shoulder length so that you can estimate the life remaining on your elastomer. Starts out at 39 and 3 quarter inches and this one's measuring about 39 and a quarter so it's used about 50% of its life remaining on that elastomer so now Brent's going to begin disassembling the tool. We're just disassembling it, then we're gonna inspect each part. We're looking for any areas that have non-eccentric wear. So we're inspecting those portholes. You know, once we get it cleaned up in the parts washer, we'll look down the center of it, make sure there's no wash points internally. He's broken all the external joints, pulled it out of the external housing. And you see the elastomer section. Next, we're gonna take off the TSP, which is threaded seal piston. And then once he's done removing the TSP, we'll take off the four stiff stacks of the elastomer. We'll be able to get a good look at the shaft. Red Loctite. Elastomer, is visual inspection, is in good shape. We also know from the beginning measurement that it has 50% of the life left remaining on it. Next, Brent will be removing the drive washer. It's still in really good condition. We'll wash it up and get it ready to reinstall. Now that that's removed, he can remove the rebound stacks. So two rebound stacks and four stiff stacks. They're all one system, so you use them all together and you replace them all at the same time as well. At this point, we can already start inspecting the shaft and see that it held up really well. It looks great. For this, it's best to use a small uh, gear wrench like this, just so you don't mark the surface of the shaft with like a chain vise or something like that. So shaft looks excellent. A little bit of striations here that you'll see, but nothing of concern. So now he's disassembling the anti-rotation area. and exposing the pins. So when you disassemble this, you just want to look down the channels, make sure that they're still looking like they were machined that way. And with these longer pins that are in the 4.0 version, you're not gonna see key seating. And we have six anti-rotation pins, each four inches in length. And this material here is a silicone bronze. Now we get a look at the male inner member. And again, we're inspecting the grooves where the anti-rotation pins rest. Everything here looks great. You see a little bit of a mark marking there where Brent pointing with his finger. And that's where the guide band that goes inside of the seal retainer is resting on, on that piece. So everything we see here is typical and everything looks great. We'll be cleaning it up and reassembling it. So this is the seal retainer and the seal retainer housing. And just inspecting the ID. Everything that I see looks great. What you're looking at there is a guide band inside the seal retainer. Taking out the packing seal and the, and the uh, guide band from the seal retainer. The seal retainer being the metal piece there. And we're not going to reuse the packing seals. Those will be changed out when we reassemble the tool. Guide band, we're gonna inspect that. The guide band. All right, so he's removing the spacer. Below the spacer is a packing seal. It has a backup, peak backup ring. And removing the second guide band. Now uh, we're inspecting the female anti-rotation housing. Looks good, so the next step would be to clean these up in a parts washer and then we'll reassemble the tool.